Hello everybody, welcome to another CSK editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to sync clips with Twixter. Twixter is used to sync clips that aren't a high frame rate. So, as you can see here, the clip I have here is 60 FPS. Generally, I'd recommend recording at a high frame rate, but in this case, if you're using clips from like Shadowplay or OBS, um, this is the method to sync clips with. So, obviously we're going to need to create a composition with the clip. Um, I'm just going to mute the audio. And I'm going to make the composition a bit longer, so I'm just going to set it to that long. All right, now I'm going to need some music, obviously. Uh, to see the audio waveform, just go down to here, and you'll see the waveform. And then just create markers to sync to. So I'm just going to disable the video and find the sync points. To create a marker, all you have to do is hit Shift and then a number key. So in, if I do shift 1 it will create a marker like so, press shift 2, create number 2, shift 3, number 3 um, so yeah that's all you have to do if you want to create a marker or you can just drag this marker out like so and it will create a marker in whatever position you drag it to. So I'm going to go ahead and create some marker points Alright, so there are the markers I'm going to sync to. Um, I'm just going to re-enable the video track, like so, and then just hide the rest of that. Alright, so now what we need to do is go to the first sync point. Um, in my case, I'm going to skip to the fourth sync point, just because I think it will work better with the shots that he does here. And then we're just going to scrub through the clip, like so, and find the first shot. And... There's its first shot, and then we're going to press Control Shift D and cut it so like so, and delete the rest. Now, I'm going to go through again for his second shot, which is right here, and cut it again. Then just scroll through and look for his third shot, which is here. Then just drag it to the next marker like that. And after that, that's all the shots he does. Okay, so you might see here there is actually a gap in between uh, this clip and this clip. That is fine, we'll fix that later. Uh, next, what you need to do is obviously add Twixer to Sync 2. So just add Twixer Pro. Uh, change the input frame rate uh, to whatever the clip is. So mine is 60, so I would do 60 FPS. And then you can go ahead and change all the settings available here. I just leave a default because I think it works best with um, the CSGO clips. Um, there isn't too much warping with uh, these settings. Um, if there are better settings, you can go ahead and change them to that as well. Now, go to this speed and press the stopwatch next to speed. Uh, go ahead and select your clip and press U on your keyboard. Now, it will show you the marker. And just go ahead and drag it back one frame. And then we can go ahead and increase this frame to whatever really. I'm just going to do 250, like so. Uh, scrub through, go to about the middle-ish, and then slow it down to uh, maybe about 40. And then go to the end of the clip, and then I'm going to set it. I'm going to bring this back up to around 200 or so, like that. All right, as you can see, you may be able to see that the clip is slowing down in the middle in the preview and then speeds back up. But as you can see this here, he does the shot, which is actually part of this clip, which will look a bit weird. So just select all the keyframes here, press F9 on your keyboard, that will easy ease them. Then open up the graph editor, like so. And all we need to do is change the curve, so just do something like that. Um, we want to make this nice and smooth, like so. And go ahead and play with the shape of the Twixter uh, curve as well. So that's just some basic one I did. As you can see, it's already a lot smoother. Um, I might want to increase this a bit more actually, maybe 250, like so. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for syncing on Twister. What you have to do is that and repeat it for the rest of the clips. So next one, 
add to Elixir again, change the input frame rate, let's do 60, go to the first part, select the stopwatch, press U, bring it back one frame, uh, change the speed, go to about halfway-ish, slow it down maybe 50%, and now we can actually drag this uh, clip out a bit more because it's slowed down, and then we can increase it again to uh, 200, like so, and then repeat it like before, then then do the same before, just highlight them all, press F9, go to the graph editor, go to the graph editor, change the curve, like so. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much thinking with Twixter. Here is what I've done. As you can see, the, uh, the clips are now synced. Um, there is a tiny bit of warping, as you can see, around here or so, around the uh, gun. Um, that just happens with Twixter. Um, there are ways to get rid of it, I believe, if you change up the settings a bit, but I just leave it because um, I don't really use Twixer too much, so I don't know the best settings. Um, you can go ahead and play around with them if you really want to. Alright, so for those who use Vegas instead of Artifex, the process is pretty much the exact same. Um, just add some sync points to your song, and then you know, chop up your clips, and then just add Twixer to your clip. So here it is, Twixer Pro, as your clip, like so. Again, you can go ahead and change um, the settings to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it. Then all you have to do is click the speed percentage um, animation button here and then just change the speed. So it's going to bring this up to 200, go to about halfway-ish in the timeline here, um, change it to something like 50, then go to the end, change it again to about uh, 200. All right, so unlike After Effects, you can't really change the curvature of the uh, speed. So the only way we can really do that in Vegas is to change the type of keyframe it is. So we can have uh, fast, slow, smooth, sharp or something. I like to use uh, the fast one, then set this one to a slow. Um, you can obviously go ahead and change the settings to whatever you want really. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, see what works best for you. So yeah, it, it works pretty much the same as After Effects, except you just need to change the keyframes a bit. Right, so yeah, that's pretty much doing Twixer in Vegas. It's essentially the same thing. Um, the layout of uh, everything is just slightly different and the keyframes uh, aren't as good as After Effects uh, since you can't really change the curvature of the speeds. But it's essentially the same thing. I really recommend using After Effects, not Vegas for this because the speed graph in After Effects is just so much better than just right-clicking and changing the keyframe type. Um, so yeah, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.